Hi guys, um, today I just uh, want to show you how you got um, I2S, or I2S S uh, and DMA uh, running on a STM32F87 uh, of course. And uh, the first thing you have to do is to go to um, the flash. You find it down here and uh, then you have to put in these lines. It means that um, you tell the, the compiler that there will be a, a RAM block and the name of the RAM block will be my RAM D2. And the reason why we do that is that um, the DMA controller can only go to um, domain two, uh, to the domain two on, uh, on a 87. Um, and uh, therefore um, the buffer you want to put in to the DMA, you have to define in um, in the D D2 domain, and uh, you do it uh, by telling that uh, it should place the buffer in the RAM you just uh, created in the flash. And uh, a very good idea is to check here. You can see the RAM down here. Uh, you can find that um, it use. Um, 20 bytes is because I, I make a test with a very very small buffer to see about my sinus um, function was working and it was working very well. So the only two things you have to do is to go into the flash, put this in, and when you define the buffer you will do that. Everything else it fixes by cube IDE. It means that if you read on the net, you will see that somebody is uh, talking about uh, the the way you initialize cube to fix it for you, and there's absolutely no problem. The only thing you have to be care uh, take care of uh, is that uh, the DMA is an eight bit DMA, and it means that here I got a sixteen bit the buffer, so therefore I have to increase it. Or decrease uh, the size uh, by by two or divide by two, but yeah, you can just feel free to do whatever you want. If uh, if you only need a eight bit buffer, here yeah, I use the codec uh, VWM eight nine six zero, so therefore it is there like that. And uh, here I just got a a, a pin with a chocolate, and uh, you can see that everything is working very fine. It is uh, running right now. Um, so um, that's the way you fix it.